Welcome to heaven, here's your heart. Welcome to hell, here's your accordion. <laughs> For many years, the accordion, the only time you would see an accordion on TV would be the one that Lawrence Welk was playing on the, that Myron, Myron Thorne was playing on Lawrence Welk's show. Or, as in the case of this 19th century accordionist, you can tell by the looks on these ladies' faces that they're a little skeptical about this new instrument that they're hearing. But I believe that the, uh, the popularity of the accordion is on the upswing because of the accordions are used a lot now in Cajun music and also in country and western music. Uh, I've been playing the accordion since I was in the fifth grade and I took lessons for about seven years. And uh, during that time, I spent some time in Hawaii and my accordion teacher got all of her students together and formed an accordion band and she would get us spots on local TV shows where we would do performances and we would wear little red and white satin capes with little gold accordion pens and it was really a lot of fun. But now I don't play the accordion so much anymore because of the time factor, but um, I enjoy bringing it out at Christmas to do Christmas carols. Um, this evening I would like to explain to you a little bit about the history of the accordion and uh, the mechanics of how it works. It's a very um, good attention step, good need step, and a nice clear preview was for us. Developed by F. Bushman in 1822 in Berlin. And then in 1829, a man by the name of C. Damien made some modifications on it and gave the instrument its name. But the principles have been known for centuries in China. Sir Charles Wheatstone, who had much to do with the invention of the electric telegraph, uh, was very interested in accordions coming from across the continent. And in 1829, he developed a small, a tiny little metal box that had 12 reeds in it and buttons on each side, and he called it a symposium. And then in 1844, he got a patent on what is now known as the concertina. And then, as the accordion developed, they put buttons on the right-hand side. And this is a beautiful example of a button accordion. It's Italian-made, and it, it's called a melodeon. Then in France, in 1852, oh, nice. they developed an accordion with a piano-style keyboard on it. And this brought a new complexity to the accordion and gave it a lot more volume. The accordion is very versatile. It's uh, small, kind of small, uh, lightweight, and easy to ca uh, carry around. And it was a favorite of folk players around the country. And also, it was taken into battle at one time by the Salvation Army. And it was also a favorite of, um, it was a favorite of soldiers and traveling showmen. And back in the days of the square riggers, the men used to gather around uh, when they would go on watch, and they would sing and dance, all accompanied by an accordionist. But just because he's wearing an orange jacket and playing an accordion, that does not mean that he's mentally unbalanced. <laughs> <laughs> And now I'd like to explain to you a little bit about the Excellent. mechanics great. of the accordion. The accordion is a free reed instrument. Um, the mechanics of how it works is when you push or pull the bellows, you force air through a hole. And then there are reeds in there, and that makes those reeds vibrate, and that's what creates the sound. And different sized reeds produce different tones. Yeah. And uh, this, these are examples of three other free reed instruments. <coughs> This is a concertina and a harmonica and a button accordion. And now I'm going to put my accordion on and I'm going to explain to you how it works. Oh, good. I hope you pay a little soft for us. You've got time. We'll make time. Okay, this is the, the um, piano keyboard, and this is where I play the melody. And the bellows are like a folded up fan. And when I open the bellows, the air is sucked in. And when I close the bellows, the air is pushed out. 
And as I said before, the air goes over the reeds and makes them vibrate and creates the sound. And this is the left-hand side, the bass, and each bass chord has a corresponding uh, major, minor, seventh, and diminished. And each one has a counter bass also. And if you're wondering how I know where to put my fingers, there's a little hole, a little indentation in middle C. And there's also one in E and on B flat down here so that when I move my fingers around, I know where I am at all times. And in the 1930s, um, the piano accordion was outfitted with registers, and these are registers. And this gives a different tone and sound to the accordion. I'll demonstrate here. Okay, and now I'm going to play a little song for you. And it um, was popular back in the 1950s, and it used to be um, sung on the Perry Como show. He used to sing it, and it's called Peg of My Heart. <laughs> mechanically and if any of you are like me who play the accordion but not nearly regularly enough uh, take the accordion out of the closet dust it off play some good accordion music and let's put the accordion back into the spotlight where it belongs thank you okay, speech is seven minutes and 30 seconds outstanding speech very very well done well organized uh, excellent visual aids and your last sample is outstanding here you're all very, very good. I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs>